Virgo, hey my lovies, I said Virgos, hey my lovies, Virgo, say my love, hey, hey my love, hey, hey my love, sing it with me one time, sing Virgo, say my loves, hey my loves. What's going on, my soul tribe, my family? What's going on, y'all? How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. I am feeling amazing. And hopefully, I run my high vibrations and my healing energy off on you. Virgo, talk to me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, your bookings, your donations, and everything you do for my channel. And especially, thank you for all your warm, loving messages that you leave me in the comment section. I love each and every one of you. And if I didn't get a chance to touch your message, baby, trust me, I love you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Look what keeps coming over here. This regret card toxicity twin flame what is happening here virgo all right let's see what's going on let's pray okay holy spirit divine spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit spirit guides thank you so much for bringing me here with my virgo thank you so much for all you do in the divine realm giving us messages of clarity truth love and light thank you for your divine healing and giving us victory in every situation we may face thank you so much for financial abundance and overflow in our lives we appreciate you blocking and binding all negative energy entities witchcraft wickedness anything that's coming up against your divine will for our lives we thank for you banishing that energy we only draw from your divine realm of love light spiritual wisdom and guidance and perfection amen amen and amen let's get it let's tap in tap 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 in for my Virgos, what's happening here? What's going on for my Virgos? All right, so we already saw that twin flame. Somebody is thinking about this heavy, okay? That energy came in intruding. It wouldn't even let me get the, the words out, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Somebody is sad about a separation. They feeling it, honey, okay? They are feeling it. I see somebody um on this motivated beginning. Some type of passionate, ambitious start. This is the Ace of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant for anyone here. But this is a start. And I feel like somebody is thinking about starting something over with you possibly. Or you're thinking about this person. Somebody definitely is in deep thought about this. I honestly feel like it could be this person that's going through the separation with you. You walked away. This person, you walked away to heal. Okay, you walked away to heal yourself, to do some shadow work, to do some balancing, okay? You felt like you were sick and tired of the blockages. You had a very strong intuitive feel that it came from this person in this connection. So you did whatever you had to do to part ways, okay? You did give this person chance after chance, but it didn't work out. So this was a dead giveaway that it just is not meant to be at this time. Somebody said bad timing. Somebody said, no, it's a dub. Like that was not for me. All right, so however it fits, take what resonates and leave the rest for the next person. I got sage smoking everything all over the place. Okay, anybody want to do some housekeeping? Say no. <laughs> I'm the housekeeper. You know we wear every hat. Okay, I'm a Virgo, so I wear all the hats, honey. So let's go ahead and get into this message. All right, so with this separation and longing card, what do I feel? Um, I feel like you walked away for a very good reason, and of course, that's a given, because anytime you walk, a Virgo walks away from you, it is definitely for a good cause. More than likely, you broke their trust or you betrayed them in some type of way. And I feel like this person is really feeling it now. They realize their mistakes. For some of you, it's a female that you used to provide for. Okay, take it how it resonates. It could be anyone. But this person is regretful of their mistakes and they're trying to figure out what they're going to do now. Somebody said it's not my problem. Okay, and it really never was, but this is what happens when we forget to be grateful. All right, not us, but people in general. Okay, because God give you something and he can take it right away from you. So charge every blessing, right? But somebody is definitely longing and missing your energy. Um, you definitely could be um thinking about this person here and there. I feel like because this person is thinking about you. 
All right, somebody is isolating themselves here in deep thought. This could be some of my Virgos going into hermit mode, thinking really long and hard about the situation, what you did wrong, what you could have did better. Somebody is definitely overthinking this thing, okay? You made your decision and it's okay to move forward. This was a karmic situation and now you've helped balance karma for you both, all right? Close off is what you need to be, okay? Somebody's birthday is in August here. So my August Virgos, this could really resonate with you. It's resonating with whoever, but I'm just saying, I really feel that here. All right. So spirit says you are right to be closed off from this karmic situation. Healing. Somebody is realizing like, man, there are some things I need to heal. All right. Some things that you need to work through. Okay. Some of you just want to be alone. You don't want to be bothered with anybody. You have a lot of things to figure out that you want to figure out on your own path. And you want to do this on your own time. Somebody is sick and tired of being on everybody else's time. You want to be on your own time. All right. And that's absolutely fine, Virgo. You do what you got to do to make yourself feel good. Okay. You, it's like you're trusting the divine. You're trusting spirit. Look at you. You're trusting spirit to help you heal these inner wounds and childhood wounds, things that you have yet to really take the time out to address. All right. And you're like, I don't know that this person can help me at all like it's just like somebody is a big distraction all right somebody was there um somebody is vain and prideful draining your energy i feel like you just got sick and tired of it okay you just did um yeah i really feel that here and i feel like that's why you walked away um also it was somebody that you may not have fully been able to trust okay that's just the t so that's what i see here about this person for some of you guys, let's call out the signs that I'm feeling, water, and I feel um, fire, also earth, okay? So I see that here. So let's get into this message a little bit deeper. Let's see what was going on between you and this person, possibly. Let's see what we can pick up on. Thank you so much, ancestors and spirit guys, for showing up for the Virgos. Thank you, Archangels, for your protection. Show me clear messages for my lovely Virgos. Hey, my lovies. Okay. I love you guys. I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy as always. Of course. I heard you. <laughs> the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, so I feel like, honestly, there's somebody here that is not trying to let go. Now, if I step on your toes, I'm sorry. You know the vibes over here. Sometimes it's just, it's thing a little bit. You know, sometimes the truth and healing is a little bit hard to swallow when you look at yourself and what part you're playing in a situation. But honestly, I feel like for, um, for today and maybe the next couple of days, Somebody is going to really be in some deep thought about this situation that they're walking away from. Um, somebody that they put on ice, okay? You put this person on ice and you like, I need to think some things through. You're going really fast, okay? Somebody is really fast. They really motivated to get this cracking, okay? Somebody is very vain and prideful. They're like, look, it's all about me. It's all about when I want to do stuff. Virgo said, no, I need to be on my own time, all right? I need to be on my own time. You got to respect my work. You got to respect my schedule, Okay, somebody is like, I'm not about to be on your time. The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. You see what I mean? And I feel like you definitely picked up on this. Yeah, this person, I feel like when they talk to you, when they see you, they're really landing on super thick. Definitely putting this person on ice. Like, baby, back it up for a second. Just back it up for one second. Let me just breathe, okay? Can I just take a deep breath and take you in for a minute so I can make sure I see what I think I'm looking at? Because... You doing the most. Like somebody's like, oh no, don't pass me up. You just don't know. And you like, no, I got a good idea. <laughs> I got a good idea. Okay. Like, yeah. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, I like you in coffee cups. So they are excited to get out and get close to you. Somebody could be excited to get you in their energy so they can work that magic. You already know the vibes, okay? Somebody trying to convince you, um, pick me kind of energy. Just a tad, just a tad, okay? Just a teeny bit coming from the other side, okay? And I feel like, honestly, Virgo, you're trying to fill this person out. You're not in a rush to get your feelings hurt again. So you're really taking your time here trying to figure out exactly what it is that you you want to give me so bad what is the rush honey okay i feel like they're excited you are fine virgo you know you're an amazing catch yes 
but there's more to it. You're like, uh-uh, it's something, it's too much. It's too fast, too much, too soon. So you're like, yeah, let's, let's see what's going on here, right? Ego, vanity and pride. Be lighthearted, okay? You're going to be finding out how this person really is, finding out their energy, things coming to light. Um, you're going to have to adapt to this change and heal, okay, um, from walking away from this person. I mean, I feel like it hurts your feelings to find out how this person really was. Somebody gave a person an ultimatum and they ended up walking away. And you're like, dang, I thought you liked me so much or you wanted this so bad. Like, fraud, okay? You know what I mean? Cap. <laughs> that means lies. All right, thought, isolating. Let's see. Oh, union, wedding, marry. Somebody is, oh, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. I love this card. Somebody is, this is what you're thinking about. This is what you're focused on. This is what you really want. But Virgo, I am getting, Spirit is saying, don't put all your focus on this. This is what's taking it so long to come. Y'all know what I'm going to say. It's like watching a pot of rice boil. It never boil. It don't boil till you walk away and go do something else. Then it burn. It be about to burn. So that's how it works. Like set it and forget it type energy. All right. Speak out loud what you want. Write it down. Manifest. Okay. Imagine yourself doing this thing or having this thing and then leave it. All right. Because I feel like the more you think about it and the more you isolate yourself, um, the longer it's taking. Now, it's okay to hold back your goodies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and not be so fast to... to give it away you know but when it comes to opening your heart to dating and talking to people it's okay to talk and get to know and like you you see it's a lot of imposters out here and people that's not really good for you so you just have to be careful karma balance justice closed off and guarded resistance show me clearly for virgo hammer okay so some type of sabotage receiving what you need progression somebody has closure issues here of course as we see somebody is yearning and longing um, sabotage for some of y'all you trying to hold on to something that's not meant for you and that's self-sabotage you know I'm gonna tell you the truth I don't make up stories over here so I'm gonna tell you the truth and you see the cards okay uh, sabotage rebuilding integration repetitive persistent and working on it okay so maybe I feel like some of you guys are accepting the inevitable or you're accepting like okay this is another one that just didn't work or something didn't work here and you're receiving what you need now progression is arriving so you're starting to see things turn around um a little faster first it was going turtle speed snail speed now it's speeding up the turtle speed okay <laughs> like it's still going slow but you see progression here and you're working on things I feel like you're working on the inner child and healing yourself and realizing the things that you do that can make these things happen and occur in your life and just keep going all right this was a sudden change it's some some type of shocking news and an epiphany all right it's here you're realizing what needs to be done and what part you play in this stuff so that's very important all right it's crucial for you moving on and really realizing how to get through these things and then you'll be able to maneuver maneuver more smoothly through these situations okay so now let's see let's um let's clarify some of these cards let's see what we have here okay so the first card i want to clarify is the lightning card for my virgo holy spirit holy angels ancestors and guides show me clear messages now i usually use these cards when i'm doing personal readings so it can get very in depth but i'm gonna use them here today let's see i think we used them like twice before Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise epiphany. All right. So, unemployment, frustration, adversity, spiritual awareness, and faith restored. Okay. So, I feel like this is what you read. This is what is happening here for somebody. All right. Somebody um always comes in the comments and say they're broke. You should not be saying that. You're going to stay broke. You're in transition, a financial transition. Matter of fact, you are elevating financially. Like you have to speak positive over your finances and your life and these occurrences. All right. Somebody is frustrated. All right. I feel like somebody is sick and tired of these situations and you're deciding to be, um, you're deciding to keep the faith. I feel like faith is restored for somebody who was left out in the cold. That's what's making you work on yourself. That's what's making you choose you over these people. And I feel like you're really taking this thing seriously now. You're like, no, I believe that things are going to get better for me. I know that they will. And I know it's safe for me to walk away from these situations that don't serve me. I don't have to hold on to anything. 
All right, so you're realizing that. All right, because this shocking news and this sudden change that happened, it really bothered you. Like you really, you know, you really, it, it stung you to the point where it made you take a step back and look. Okay, so show me separation from my Virgo. What's going on here with this separation? All right, so you're realizing that you need to refuse this offer. Somebody here is definitely in regret, okay? Um, they see this as a missed opportunity. They're stuck in their head thinking about you. They keep thinking about you, feeling trapped, okay? Um, but somebody, I feel like somebody felt a little bit backed into a corner, like they didn't have an option here because you ran the show. If you say it's over, it's over. So, I mean, they can't date themselves. They could, but you know. But I'm saying, like, they didn't have a choice. So somebody felt like their hands were tied in this particular situation because you're walking away. I feel like you're realizing that um, this could be a bit toxic. You know, somebody could be going through um, mental depression, some kind of health issues or obsession. I feel like this person is a serial cheater, you know, and I feel like somebody felt pretty powerless with this person because this devil energy is anything that makes you feel overshadowed. You know, making you feel like, you know, like you can't be yourself or you can't move freely. And I feel like somebody wanted to force you to do something or rush you and you just wasn't with it. So you're realizing that you got to walk away from this. I'm not on this person's time. This person is not going to be controlling me. Like I deserve better. So I feel like you're, you're accepting the fact that this just didn't work out. Frustrating? Yes. Um, but is it worth you moving forward? Yeah. You know, you don't want to be under this, this, um, you don't want to be under an illusion. Okay. So you're just like, okay, um, this has been stagnant. Somebody is saying this is stagnant. Like it's at a standstill, but really Virgo, you're moving on. Like you want to heal. You don't feel like this person is for you and they really need to understand that. Show me this self-absorbed narcissist. Somebody's healing childhood wound. All right. So unexpected windfall. I feel like this could be a king. Oh, this could be my king of pentacles here. That's healing. Maybe you're coming off a bit self-absorbed. But I feel like this is um, representing a one-sided relationship and you're healing from that. Because that's what this is talking about as well. Okay. Um, I feel like you are healing your home. You're healing your heart and your, your business. Um, and I feel like you're working on some inherited issues. Maybe that you picked up along the way as you were being raised or picked up from your family. But this is also the Ten of Pentacles talks about family and to over time and investing in different things that's happening in your family over time. Like um, what you believe and the values and things like that. All right. So I feel like you're working on that. You know, somebody could also have some type of inheritance, but I feel like this inheritance is the 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 faults like the bad habits that you've inherited over time as far as self-love and how to love yourself and how others should treat you yeah this is deep okay but honestly y'all that's all you see out here for real is a bunch of people that are not healed people who are wounded people who have all these scars and flaws and issues that they are not addressing and then they go from person to person to person no offense if you're stuck in this cycle on like you're not realizing what's happening you know but i'm talking about these people that know that they have these wounds and they're just not ready to look at it yet you know or some of them know that they have these wounds and they don't care hurt people hurt people they're like i don't care like i don't got to look at that right now i can just talk to them dump on them pull their energy and leave like once they get old leave some of these people literally go around doing this from person to person to person but you are taking the time out to look at yourself because you're like look i'm serious about my life i'm serious about my abundance i'm serious about my well-being and my prosperity i'm not about to keep looking like a fool and i'm not about to keep on going out here finding these crazy people tom dick and harriet and they all broken and they got me broken or they breaking me and making me feel yeah virgo you're realizing the sick cycle and you're like i'm not a part of that like no miss me with all that i'm not one of them period right so you're doing the work and you're looking back thinking back about where this stemmed from why do i feel like this why do i keep accepting this things like that so we have this person that is wanting to go out with you, wanting to take you out, and they keep on pressing the issue. They see you as a recognized victory, of course. 
all right? They feel like they have the advantage over this situation because you like them. And I feel like you saw that. But they think they have the advantage, but they don't. Yeah. I feel like you're a very um, well-known Virgo. And or you have a very um, a job with a serious position. Like a lot of people rely on you and depend on you or something like that. And this person knows it. They know that you're a great opportunity. They know this. All right. So I feel like this person definitely feels like um, you're victorious. Um, this person has people cheering them on. They like when they meet people and they, you know, new people and they showing them off and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that's what you have here. <clears throat> so somebody thinks that you're a great opportunity. But let's see what what is um, Virgo not saying about this person that's coming toward them. Wow. Y'all see that? Flipped over in reverse. Bad luck, upheaval, disorder, external forces, lack of control, disruption, unwelcome change, and delays and setbacks. So I feel like that's what's happening. This person is not good news. All right? And I feel like you see that. This person is going to be trying to control you and everything. They're pretty toxic with this devil energy looming them. And they feel like they're, they're it's like restriction. They're trying to make you restricted. Okay. Then we have um, the three of wands energy. All right. So spirit is saying it's important for you to believe in yourself. All right. Somebody could be thinking about traveling or moving. Okay. But this is talking about you having the confidence to move out, out and about or go forward and see what else is out there for you? Um, this is also talking about somebody who is leaving somebody behind and going to see what is out there. All right. This also talks about somebody who is having success and happy with their choices and the outcome. So spirit is basically saying you'll be very happy with the choices and the outcome of this situation if you leave this person behind. For a lot of you, um, this was this is what you need to do. Now I feel like in the in the beginning it seems like a very happy time and a very positive choice but really i feel like it's not and i feel like if as you're strong and as you reject these people who don't deserve your time or energy your hard work is going to pay off and i feel like a lot of you are in this place of abundance where you're starting to see your life change or think or a lot of growth all right from the seeds that you've planted and the last thing you need is somebody coming along damaging that okay so i feel like you're learning from these life experiences yeah, you definitely are, especially when these people come and meet you and you show them the best side of you and they feel like they have the upper hand, right? Somebody could also be working on healing family issues, you know, dragon frog, dragon, how's that dragon frog? Somebody could be hearing frogs or have frogs around their house, um, but dragonfly, it says be lighthearted, finding out things. Somebody could have saw a dragonfly today. This could resonate with you. Okay, things come into light, adapt to change and heal, right? So I feel like that's what you're doing. Somebody is taking a long look in the mirror here. You're not letting your ego get in the way anymore. If you lose them, you lose them. Somebody is like, I don't give a damn one. I do not want the stress. I do not want the issues. So if I lost one, it wasn't mine. Bye, right? And that's the perfect energy to be in Virgo. Positivity, freedom, fun, success, optimism, joy, and confidence. Yes. Self-expression, good luck, enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness, and pregnancy. Ew. Okay, pregnant with new ideas, pregnant with abundance. You know, I feel like you're always creating. You're a master manifester, a master creator. Always thinking about lucrative ideas to make money, to grow, for change, to heal. Like, you're a very, you're very much an asset, Virgo. And people that meet you and get to know you see that. But I feel like you're going to be happy with this um, with this situation, especially once you fully let this person go, okay? You're going through a spiritual transformation. This is talking about letting go and endings and new beginnings, okay? Um, this is sudden and unexpected, all right? But it's happening, okay? So I feel like that you're dealing with it. Um, somebody here is moving on to common waters, away from this person arguing with them, away from the mental conflict. And I feel like you're choosing you. You're taking the high road, getting in your water Uber, and you're moving on. You know, riding through them emotions. You're figuring it out as you go along, okay? That's what they're doing with these knives in the boat. Now, if you keep them in the boat, the boat it will eventually sink, of course, right? So these are things that you need to work out, and time is of the essence, okay? All right, so we have this hammer and this boat. Talking about the sabotage or working on it, 
after the sabotage and getting what you need. All right. So I feel like you're right on the right path, Virgo. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So let's get some more advice from Spirit and then we'll move on. Okay. Real quick, let's get a couple of these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides, what do you want to tell Virgo about this energy today? Anything else, Spirit, for Virgo? Okay. Wisdom. You're very wise beyond your years, and Spirit wants you to use this wisdom to see you through this situation and stay on the right path. Boom. This book right here is a book of knowledge. It could also be the Word of God, Okay. Um, so maybe somebody is studying, maybe somebody is writing a book, but spirit wants you to seek more answers about who you are spiritually. This will help you balance your shadow side. All right. And as you elevate, as you grow, as you learn, you will get your recognition and reward for it. Okay. So trust the divine process. Trust everything that's happening is going to, um, work out for your good and move forward. Okay. That's all you got to do. You on, Virgo. You on. You doing it, loveys, okay? This was a little deep, okay? We're going to have some fun later on this evening, okay? We're going to laugh and have a good kiki at these people that's in your energy because they be some characters, honey. It would be funny to me. All right? Lessons in life will repeat until they are learned. This is what spirit wants you to embrace, okay? So that's why I see a lot of you guys stepping back, taking a look deep within, and you're figuring these things out. You're like, where did I ever get that from? And you're starting to see it, okay? Good. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Look, you will break free from all that no longer serves you. And that's what we want, right? Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you guys so, so much. And I mean it. Um, I will see you on the next video. If you want a personal reading, book your own at Closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. I have been busy, 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 but I still have openings for today, okay, and tomorrow. So get on, Virgo, get on. I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.